hi friends you welcome back to my channel this is beauty's fashion zone blog happy easter i hope you have a very beautiful celebration with your friends and family if you celebrate easter in this video today i'm going to talk about um different outfits different dresses different styles that you can wear this weekend to celebrate Easter so this video is a kind of uh, outfit inspiration for you and uh, since it's coming at the last minute it's not to you know encourage you or inspire you to go go shopping and get new items into your closet but rather this video is to encourage you to reach into your wardrobe to reach into your closet and get out those pieces and restyle them in different ways or just to be inspired to put outfits together as you celebrate with your friends and family this weekend I'm a fashion blogger from minneapolis minnesota i've been blogging now for over 12 years i blog at uh, beautiesfashionzone.blogspot.com is a personal blog that i've run now uh, like i said for over 12 years i mostly run the blog as a hobby i just comment on recent uh, fashion trends and uh, talk about affordable fashion and sustainable fashion on there so if you have the time you can stop by my blog and have a look at what i'm doing over there so we all know really i mean we know at this time that the outfit that is mostly worn to celebrate easter are dresses yeah a lot of times we ladies just reach for a dress you know there's even this term that is coined uh the easter dress you know so a lot of times we ladies dress up in dresses during the easter time because it's kind of like the beginning of spring you know uh the beginning of wearing of of floral outfit you know dresses in anticipation of the summer time but i would like to tell you that the dresses are not the only option that you can have when it's time to celebrate easter and like we all know it's a time to gather with family it's a time to gather with friends it's a time to gather with in-laws so usually easter dresses are mostly you know modest you know um but they can be cute and chic at the same time but usually they are modest dresses um all these years we've mostly worn like floral dresses for easter like if you look at um fashion magazines of previous years or television segment you see a lot of dresses that are floral that are you know um sold as easter dresses which is good it's been like that for over these years but in this video today i would like to tell you that there are other options that we can uh you know style like i said earlier when it comes to easter celebration and the first option i would like to talk about is pant suits yeah pant suits are another option that we can wear as uh, you know a celebration piece i know a lot of I'm not going to say a lot of ladies, maybe because of what I see on social media. Usually, uh, pencils seem to be what is worn by the younger generation. I see a lot of uh, young fashion influencers, you know, dressed in pencils. For women that are over 40, I don't see them dressed in pencils as much. In my daily life when i go out you know uh during celebration time but i've seen a lot of younger um ladies wear pantsuits so i'm a lady in my 40s in my mid 40s and i love pantsuits a lot i've always loved them so i'm going to use this opportunity in this video to tell you to try pantsuits as an option to dresses so this easter season you can wear uh, you know light color pencils pencils in pastel colors like pink 
um, light blues. You can even do color blocking, you know, with pencils. If you want more inspiration, you can go to Pinterest where you can pull up pictures of, uh, you know, ladies dressed in pencils. So you can use that as a guide to style yourself for uh, Easter celebration this weekend. I've always loved pencils for different occasions, to wear to church, for events. And uh, Easter times is a time for, you know, where you can probably go out with the kids to do, you know, Easter egg hunt. You want to be comfortable and, uh, I, you know, you can even have the, uh, the wicker bag, you know, the wicker basket, the straw bags, you know, have that as an accessory to take along to style your pencils. So I have a couple of pictures I'm going to put up in this video. You can, so you can see uh, different ways you can style the pencil for Easter. So it's a very good option that you can uh, pick for celebration. Um, before I continue with this video, I would like to apologize if you're hearing any noise on the background. My family is upstairs and uh, there seems to be uh, some noise coming from upstairs from what I can hear. So I hope it does not interfere too much with the video. If it does, I probably will have to just shoot the whole thing, uh, the whole video again. So I've said uh, 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 pencil is a good option for uh, Easter celebration. And apart from Easter, you can also use pencils uh, to celebrate Mother's Day. We all know that Mother's Day is coming up. So instead of wearing those dresses that you've worn all this while, you can get a beautiful pencil and style it as a Mother's Day outfit. If uh, your pencil is not your thing, you can also look at jumpsuits. Jumpsuit is another option. There are different jumpsuits that are very stylish and chic that you can find online in different pastel colors. I'm gonna put some pictures up here in the video so you can you know, check out all the different uh, cute styles of jumpsuits that you can style for this weekend or for the upcoming Mother's Day or any other celebration that you have with your family you know, in the summertime or uh, whatever. Well, before I continue with this video, I would love to show you my outfit of the day. So in this video today, I'm wearing a, a purple um, pencil that I've had uh, for a very long time now. I just reached to my closet and grabbed this to wear to shoot this video. Uh, I got a purple suit from Macy's and then I have the uh, uh, bow um, blouse you know inside the blazer and a ball blouse i got it from loft a, uh, a couple of years ago so i've styled this outfit before i have some pictures on my blog and i'm going to put some pictures on here in this video so you can see how i styled this outfit before in the winter time i've um paired the blazer with a black top you know, for a nice, uh, colorful look for the winter season. But for the warmer season, I decided to pair it with white, you know, just to give it uh, a kind of, you know, a brighter look. Uh, in my in my city, in my state, it's still very cold. Uh, we still have a lot of snow on the ground. Like I said, I live in Minneapolis, so... Um, I would have loved to put on a dress, you know, an Easter dress this weekend. But because the weather is cold, I just gravitated to, to my, you know, my pencil because uh, it's part of my style. My style is simple and uh, modest and chic. So pencils, blazers are already a part of my style. I completed the look by putting on a pair of white slim back heels just to make the look, uh, you know, a little bit uh, uh, bright and chic. Like I said, I decided not to wear black heels. I opted for the white slim back instead. I was going to put on my um, black heel slim back uh, shoes, slim back pumps that I got from DSW. But because the pants are very long, um, so the block heels didn't give me enough length for the, um, for the length of the pants. So I decided to put on the, uh, slim back heels with a longer heel just to accommodate for the long length 
of the pants so a very simple look i completed it by putting uh, by wearing a little uh cream color uh clutch that i purchased from ado uh, not too long ago so that is my outfit uh for today i hope the color um of the outfit um brings some joy to your face today and i hope it inspires you to wear more colors because i love to wear colors also you know i just wanted to group uh jumpsuits along with pencils because they are kind of almost the same style i mean a little different um i wouldn't say they're exactly the same thing but if pen suit is not your choice um you don't like blazers or you are in a warm um you know like a warm place where you don't need to wear blazers then you can consider jumpsuit as another option there are a lot of cute jumpsuit in the stores and if you don't have one you can um just style a blazer you know with a skirt or a blazer with a pant like a monochrome styling you know for, to celebrate uh, i've done that in the past like there's an outfit um that i a pantsuit outfit that i put together a while back to celebrate easter uh with my family it was uh green you know green is one of my favorite colors so i just put green uh green blazer with the green pants you know just like uh there were not a complete it was not a pants suit set you know and i just threw the pieces together just to you know style the look and to make it look um like an easter outfit i completed the look by putting on a pair of betsy uh johnson uh, heels and if you are familiar with betsy johnson you know she does a lot of like uh whimsical uh, shoes with floral patterns you know so when i style that footwear along with my pantsuit it was a kind of look that was some words are uh, very cheek and cute for you know for easter so you could do that also i also styled my pantsuit by using a uh, straw bags as an accessory well when i wear like light color pantsuit and then uh, use the straw bag as a, a straw bag you know or wicker bag wicker basket as an accessory it kind of makes the look very appropriate for summer or for easter season so then you can also put on some put on a pair of sneakers or flats if you're gonna go out to do easter egg hunt with your kids or with your family so pantsuit and jumpsuit is a very great option to wear this uh, weekend as you celebrate easter with your family then if you don't want uh, a pantsuit or a jumpsuit you could also just put on a uh, a blazer you know over a pleated skirt i've already said you could uh, pair a blazer with a skirt or a pant you know in a kind of monochrome uh style to achieve uh like a pantsuit look but another way to Kind of take this styling further is to pair a blazer with a pleated skirt i saw this look um on pinterest that i really love to share and it's an outfit that i really look forward to styling this uh summer i really love the outfit so much that i wanted to include it in this video there was a very uh, beautiful blazer i saw uh online with a pleated skirt very chic very cute there's an outfit also that you can wear to you know celebrate easter or mother's day with your family um the skirt uh, of the outfit looked a little bit uh i mean the slit the slit was a little bit high and even the blazer is a luxury blazer i think it's by the designer peter do so the blazer is in the thousands i think you know very expensive but i just like the whole look together i would really love to style that uh soon and you can use that as an inspiration also to style an outfit this weekend if you have a white pleated skirt and a white blazer you can pair them together you know white it's not too soon to wear white colors and it's a very beautiful way of styling white you know 
for this uh, you know, spring, you know, and spring is kind of leading us, you know, to the summer season. So this outfit is a good way to start the styling for the warmer um, months. There's another outfit that I saw online uh, that was on the cheaper side. And I'm not saying this so you can go online and go do some shopping this weekend. It's just uh, uh, outfit inspiration for you. It was a Karen or uh, Karen Millen, um, a Karen Millen dress, I think it was. That was also in the kind of style of the blazer and pleated skirt, but this time was a dress, you know. So that was a very beautiful outfit I saw online that I wanted to include in this video. And I also saw another outfit on uh, I think ALC Limited. That was also a very cute outfit. That was a blazer and. Uh, a pleated skirt so these are just different options you know different outfits that you can look at for inspiration uh for the uh, weekend uh there's also the matches fashion uh, outfit that i also saw on pinterest i'm just gonna pull the pictures somewhere here in the video so you can you know look at the pictures and use them as a styling inspiration yeah pleated skirts and blazers is just a great uh outfit uh a great outfit styling uh, that you can wear you know for celebrations like easter in the closet look for your pastel colored blazers the blues the pinks you know the lilacs any light color blazer you have and just pair it over a pleated skirt is a very beautiful and chic look it's something different from a dress i'm going to put a couple of pictures in this video so you can see um you know have them as inspiration to put outfits together uh this weekend um there is this uh, uh like a a future 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 color blazer or pink color blazer mm -hmm. and future skirt look that i saw online um by one of my favorite uh, uh content uh creators my favorite fashion bloggers ada Oguntudu. i don't know she does not really blog anymore mm -hmm. but if you're able to go to her instagram page you'll find inspiration to style a lot of outfit there's actually no outfit no accessory that she has not styled on her page so and i also love the fact that she thrives and she does a lot of um like vintage shopping and all that so if you go on her instagram page you can see a lot of styling inspiration to style or uh, a pen suit so you can see the picture on here the uh, pink color uh, blazer over the future official color or uh, pleated or uh, skirt apart from the blazer over the pleated skirt another uh, outfit inspiration that we can style for easter or this weekend is the uh, lace dress you know lace dresses are timeless they are kind of like classic pieces i think every lady every woman should have a lace dress in her closet i also kind of observed that lace dresses are not as common as they used to be these days lace dresses seem to have been replaced by sheer uh, dresses and cut out dresses um which is good you know you can have a few pieces of that in your closet but there's nothing like a lace dress I mean, I love lace dresses. I like to wear them to weddings. I like to wear them to, you know, events. They're very cute. They're very chic. There are so many options and different price points that you can find online. And I know there's some people that kind of think that uh, lace dresses are frumpy. Maybe they think that um, it's not a chic uh, style of outfits to wear. I don't know. I just, I don't see a lot of younger uh, fashion content creators wearing uh, lace dresses. I really appreciate the style of Blair. Blair, I don't know if I'm saying her name right. Blair of Atlantic Pacific. She has styled lace dresses so well. If you go on her Instagram or on uh, on her uh, website, you're gonna see even on Pinterest, you're gonna see a lot, lot and lot of fashion inspiration from her where she has styled lace dresses in so many ways. Such beautiful looks beautiful outfit even when i checked online when i checked on pinterest there are lots of fashion inspiration for lace dresses you don't have a thing that is a frumpy 
or you know a form pompy style you can find a lace dress that is uh you know that is your style there are lace dresses are like shirt dresses there are lace dresses that uh, lace dresses that are styled like you know a-line dresses mini dresses any i mean just any style you'll find them online so that's an option that i would like you to consider this weekend if you don't have one in your closet maybe you can look to uh, getting one for mother's day or getting one for the summer and if you have never tried lace dresses before maybe you can start by start by um getting the lace blouse you know start with that first style of lace uh, lace blouse over denim or uh, trousers or uh, denim short and then see how you know how it looks and just kind of tread softly with that the lace dresses are definitely a must in our closet for you know summer events for this easter holiday and for the upcoming uh, mother's day as well well uh right now there's an h and m outfit that i saw um online i actually saw it on instagram when i was looking at karen Britchick. she's one of my favorite content creators also because she does thrifting she does consignment shopping she mixes high and low so if you go on karen Britchick on instagram there's this h and m uh lace uh two-piece set that she just tied on there it is very very chic that was such an inspiration i mean if you've never tried lace before i'm sure when you if you see that video you will really be inspired to try a uh, lace uh you know lace dress or uh, since it's a two-piece by h and m you can get the top first and see how it works for you or get a lace skirt and see you know style it with a blazer or with a blouse and see how it works for you i'm going to uh, put up pictures of the of the look here in the video also so you can uh check it out um another place where you can get uh, lace dresses that are chic is on lulu's i purchased a couple of dresses lace dresses from lulu's they seem to have a very great assortment on there they have uh, dresses that are very cute and chic for the modern uh, i mean they are not uh, frumpy styles so and they have them at affordable uh, prices so if i want to check the lulu's uh, website to see if you can get uh, a lace dress and I, like i said at the beginning this video is not to tell you to do some shopping but if you look in your closet and you find that there is any piece that is missing and it is a is a lace dress then you could think about having having that you know picking one up and you know adding that to your closet just for next time you know for the summer season apart from the lace dress another outfit that i would love to style for this weekend are solid color dresses here yeah. and when i want to style a solid color dress it does not really have to be plain unless you're wearing a little black dress and i would say that a little black dress is not actually uh, a piece i would gravitate towards in you know to celebrate easter because um you know his style is a much more colorful and fun um you know holiday so i would a black dress would not be the first piece i would reach out for so when it comes to styling solid color dresses i would exclude the black dress and do colorful dresses instead you know pink dresses blue just pastel if you can find any color uh, any dress in pastels so instead of doing the traditional floral easter dress that we've done over the years then you can do take a, a, a solid color dress with some nice accessories and a, a great footwear to wear this weekend a nice beautiful dress that is in one single color would also do for celebration with your friends and family and if you've already if you already love solid color dresses and you've styled them before uh this uh season you know the beginning of uh 
you know warm weather is the time also to experiment if you've started uh, solid colors before what about neon have you considered neon do you have neon color dresses in your closet so if you really want to you know explore you could add neon colored uh, pieces to your closet i saw a couple of styles online a couple of outfits that i really like yeah this like gems of uh, dress green neon dress that i saw that i was looking at online so if you want to look um you want to do something different this season you know uh, looking to neon wearing neon uh, solid colored outfits to your events uh, this season. So apart from solid colored uh, dresses, another option that I will look at, uh, that I will check out this weekend, that I, can, that I will style this weekend, are statement tops. Do you have statement tops in your closet? If you do, this is a time to throw a top over a skirt or a statement top over, you know, with pants. It could be in a monochrome color styling, or you could wear the statement top over uh, a printed skirt. So as another option, you know, to wear instead of reaching out for that, uh, uh, you know dress that we have worn uh, over the years so a statement blouse over uh, a pants or a skirt is another way to style a look for this weekend then the last piece that i'm going to include in this video is the floral dress i decided not to put that as the first one because you know like i said the typical easter dress is usually the floral dress so i decided to put it last because you cannot really get away from it we still need the floral dress you know so if you really already love floral dresses printed dresses and you are comfortable with wearing that then that is okay but this season florals have really changed with easter dresses or summer dresses are not like those um floral uh you know easter floral dresses are not like more like the ones we used to wear those days you know with the big bold florals the big bold prints they have really changed you know over the last few seasons now the dresses or the floral dresses are a little bit more uh now the floral dresses are a little bit more subtle you know they are more like feminine more whimsical not like the bold floral dresses that we used to wear uh seasons ago the dresses now are really really fresh and different so if you want to wear floral dresses to celebrate this uh this uh, upcoming holiday which is easter that is already happening this weekend and uh, mother's day that is coming up think about those beautiful new trendy floral pieces that are you know uh that, that we can wear this season not like the old ones so just in case you i mean just if you want to keep your style updated if you want to see go on and put on the bold uh, floral dresses or you know like we that we used to wear if you are comfortable wearing that that is okay this video is not to bash anybody's style it's just to you know give my own opinion of what i think is more uh elegant and chic at this time just different styling options or you know for us you know so this is just what this video is all about so i hope you learned uh, one thing or two um from this video so thank you so much for watching <music>